Welcome back to Bad Tree Productions. On this day, we're working with just Mopar Journey. <laughs> I thought you were joking about that. Oh, well, then. I'm oh. making a new oil pan baffleage. All you can do is go down your basement after your furnace dies and you leave the carcass down there for three or four years and cut little panels out of it. They work for floor pans. There's a ton of this furnace in the nacho already. Yeah. It'll look like this. And you just, uh, you make it look like that. Mm -hmm. so, the idea is your pickup goes there. That's for the dipstick. Or no. Yeah, I think this side's for the dipstick. Or yeah, the I... dipstick curls right down through yeah, there. I don't know what that's for. More that's drain hole. That's just for the... Oh, the for the tube, tube with a pickup. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I don't remember. We'll figure it out. Pop yours off quick. Okay, yeah, yeah. It goes like this in the car, so you could see the oil could just ramp up. And didn't Jay wipe some cams out of a old D50, D50 with project. a 360? Yep. So I have one in my car. There was one in that car. We're just, it's like total maybe a 45 minute job. You can do it yourself. So. Folks. Yeah, it takes me an hour because I do know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go show them what you're doing. <laughs> oh, what I'm doing is tedious elbow greasing. So I'm getting all the gasket material off the intake. I've had the intake sitting inside the parts washer for like three weeks now. And it came out looking pretty clean. Um, our oil filter plate, I got this all buffed and cleaned up. We got a magnitude of parts in. Felpro engine gasket kit. We got the ring compressor, a high volume oil pump, the tank cover from Nacho. We got Felpro 1008 head gaskets for the aluminum heads. New oil pump pickup and filter. 10 under rod bearings, 10 under crank bearings. Tools all over the place. Stud kit, dust shield because we ruined the last one. Windage tray, fuel pump blocker plate, Ed's machine hooked us up with this Lunati Voodoo cam. She's quite bumpy. Set of the batching lifters. Has got the piston rods and pistons in this box. Bunch of fasteners from Nacho. And then our 360 30 over block over here that's got new cam bearings on it and new frost plugs and uh everything else is down here balancer pulley starter valve covers <laughs> heads kind of getting everything organized and ready and we're gonna get the table out and set everything out that we need and then start oh yeah need that piece the crank mm, the first huh? that'll be first firsties so i told you it'd take me an hour yeah because you 180 dip? Yeah. Oh, cool. It's cut out right. I started the flange is 180. That's dipstick. <laughs> this is oil pickup too, which I got a clearance yet, so it goes like that. <laughs> well, perfect. Like that. Right. Yeah, that is the old one. Don't use ducting. No. So galvanized doesn't make sense. Yeah, I gotta. Yeah. Whatever. Easy enough, at least you didn't get it like tacked in or anything, so. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm gonna make noise again. Well, I'm gonna go back to uh I told you I knew what I'm doing. Cleaning stuff. Transmission's good. Yeah. Just add fluid. Radiator's good. Yep. Just add fluid. Just add fluid. Um, what else? Oh! Old twin hacker. I don't know if we said this in the last video. Boom! He made it on the fridge. On the teleporter, I meant. <laughs> Teleportation device. Mm hmm. All right, I'm gonna scrape on gaskets over here. And Jeremy's gonna bang over there. What? No. Nope. Everything lines up. 
off. Like that. Cool. Okay, I'm happy. No. All right, that's all I need. You gonna zing zang it now? Yup. I'm not chasing perfection, Jeremy. <laughs> but I'm doing what everybody always says, drill the extra holes. Since we're putting up high volume pump in it, might as well do what they say, I guess. Cover! Today's episode is oil pan baffle. I don't even know if I'm doing this right, you can't see. So I gotta kinda, we fitted it, whatever. I'm just gonna do tacks and tacks and it's not a complete sealed off thing because it's got to drain back in. So, but I imagine like this side should be sealed-ish. And then a little here to drain back. And then the sides drain back, that drain back. This will drain back too. So I will do that. Like so you got the. We oh. actually did this so we could Burn test peanut. test penetration. Mm. Yeah. Perfect. Now it's gonna be hot. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll do the other side, then I'll clean up, and I'm gonna fill it with water. There you go. Held water, huh? Huh? Yeah, 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 it did, it did. Except for the drain plug immediately had a drip on it. So uh -huh. yeah. that's that's not that's not my department. Jaybird's here. I'll paint it. Is that what you're saying? What? That, I'll paint it. Is that, that what you're saying? Uh, oh. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Um, did you take this apart or no? No. Yeah. Why? And these need to be torqued too. But we should look inside of it, right? Mm -hmm. Look at everything. Right now, we're gonna slam our bearings into the uh, crank journals here. Jay's gonna run and grab some plastic gauge. Mm -hmm. and we're gonna just check. Hey. We could just throw it together, but we're not gonna do that. Never mind. Got it. What? 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 I'm going full prep, baby. Oh, he's <laughs> wiping that down. Ooh. So it gets that wet, wet. Mm-hmm. So anyway, All we're right. gonna start putting bearings down. Jay's gonna go grab some plastic gauge. I'll be back. Nice pony. Mmm. Aren't you glad that this thing wasn't injured either? Because that's like Well, eight. I don't know. We we It's hot. <laughs> this Mopar Joe's trying to mess with me. Did you guys have a sonic chuck? Yeah. For, for tracks. Tell him we <laughs> tell him we put my pickup and crank the subs up. And checked it with those sonic booms. Right. Yeah, they look, everything looks fine. <laughs> we should do that. We're gonna sonic check it, set it on the subwoofer box, and then you can fill the woofers, just pound it, and you'd be like, <laughs> we'd be like a mat, or you put it like Josh's glass, and be like, I don't yeah. see cracks. No, no, it looks fine. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> and then it's Sonic check. <laughs> you have the I can vibrate. I can hook my floor to the trucks and place them like the the battery. The beginning with the birdhouse and shit. Well, let's see. Does it spin? It spins. <laughs> the end comes Why is that down. Why is that like Oh, Jeremy. It comes right off the fucking bearing. <laughs> We're on our way to... The bearing comes around with it. A successful 360 build, I have a feeling. Where's that red paint at, my friend? Red paint. 1967 red, Jeremy? Remember, kids, you gotta shake until the ball stops making noise. Right. <laughs> oh, look at you go, man. Scuffed it all. Acetone it, wipe it down. Mm -hmm. You need the welder running still? Oh, no, I'll shut it down. I usually let it run for 10 or 15 after right. for the fan. I don't know if that's right or wrong, whatever. Nobody so I'm just going to hose it. And yeah, it's going to get scratched up again, but what we can man? hose it again in the car from no. underneath if we wanted to. No. Have you seen the nacho? Uh, Those big ass tires. My friend Andy Dufresne had to crawl through 300 yards of shit. Mm -hmm. Came out smelling like a rose. Chabo has sliced up some plasti gauge. And now he is installing said plasti gauge mm. onto the uh, journals. Mm of the crank variety. Yes. Uh-oh. Jeremy's got some shenanigans going on. What are you doing, boy? He's gonna no, scare no, everybody else. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Don't, 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 yeah. don't blow the dust this way. <laughs> you scared the crap out of both. <laughs> <laughs> he was gonna cry. That girl screamed. Yeah. Oh, boom power. Jeremy, do it again. Somebody that's, said an 18 wheeler was behind us. That's not even the loud one. That sounds the good. other one over there it says emergency horn on the back. Emergency only. It says emergency. It sounds like a fire truck. It's like a screaming high pitched. It's bad. <laughs> no, I just broke it. Sorry. <laughs> That's funny. Perfect. Sound like Miley Man. No, it's broke. There we go. I had that one on my green truck. All right. Yeah. I had well, an the... We're taking a systematic seat. approach, working from top to bottom and left to right. And we're performing all duties uh, in assembly line uh, fashion under, whenever possible. Under the cab, down That's right, folks. Isn't it? Nice breaker bar. We just put plastic gauge on. We torqued them all down, in from out. Mm. Eighty-five pounds of feet. Mm-hmm. Now Jay, imagine what that smells like. Oh gee. <laughs> oh my God. Eighty-five pounds of your eighty-five pounds of your feet. It smell like a thousand eighty-five pounds. What the feet. fuck? <laughs> Let's say I convert into inch pounds. <laughs> Anyway, a pile of corpses. Jay's cracking them all loose again. Mm -hmm. We're going to pop the caps off and we're going to check our plastic gauge. gauge, which from my understanding has been around since the dawn of time and is very accurate. Well, the package Jay has has been around since the dawn of time. Mm -hmm. <coughs> There's the new cell. Yeah. All right. Okay. Now our coordinated what's our uh, tolerance oh geez it was <laughs> I can't remember now whatever that is right there perfect right right we nailed it what look it, look it <laughs> I didn't what was the uh, yeah, clear clearance not tolerance clearance 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 we got vector Victor mm. over over hey, you ever <laughs> <laughs> you ever been to a Turkish yeah, prison? I went to a rummage sale the other day and I got a movie. I thought you were going to say you went to a Turkish prison. <laughs> no, no, not yet. That's our, our honeymoon. Oh, God. <laughs> Sounds like her honeymoon. Yeah. <laughs> 
um, what the fuck movie did I get? Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Mm, I got it too, <laughs> yep. Dumbest movie. Yep. What are we looking at, Jay? What's our clearance? Um, let's see. Uh, clearance desire, desired is, uh, is it five ten thousandths? It's point three zeros and then a five to uh, point twenty thousandths. And this goes from one hundred thousandths or one thousandths to three thousandths. I'm looking at the new one. An allowed range of point zero zero two five. Like we're not, no, we're nowhere near that. Yeah, right, right. So we don't have, yeah, we don't have, that'd be, that'd be smaller. Wait. I'm going to say it's 0015. 15,000. Right. I mean, so okay, so I checked. That's that good. looks good. The 01 is a bit too wide. And the 02, I think, is a bit too narrow. So that's 15,000. Okay, that's what we're calling it. Yep. So then, just, just wipes off, we hope. It's just plastic. Right. It's gonna wipe away, but. Lifters ground up, I mean, what's the big deal? There's plastic and oil. I'm gonna wipe some of it off, screw you guys. Sure, the oil will eat away at it and it'll disappear. All right, we'll uh, lube up our bearings and slam our caps back on. <laughs> And shove the crank forward. Mm. In play. Ah. Get in here, camera boy. Sounds like it. What? <laughs> <laughs> Precision. Uh, Mom Opar, new boss. <clears throat> Get that crank a spin. Spin that crank. Is it butter? Yeah. Does it feel good? It's the best. Look at it. Josh, go ahead. Oh Give my gosh. crank a try. Give oh, God. Jeez. That's smooth. <laughs> <laughs> it's turning like a streetcar crongle episode. I know. <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> Oi! Bullshit, 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 bullshit. Oi! <laughs> old sock, I heard. Old shoe. Stand, get in line. I heard that he's got to see people's car now. Doesn't that feel familiar? <laughs> yeah. It's everybody's wagon. It's for the folks. Let's call it <laughs> a folks <laughs> wagon. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, man. Mm. Groovy. Lucky for us, though, Jay used to build horseshoes right. back in the day for the whores of the Bible. What the hell? See in five days! Here, let me see that skin of yours. <laughs> that feels pretty thick. It's pretty thick. That there, is pretty yeah. thick. Yeah. That's some thick skin you got there, pal. It's, Try it's, it. al it's almost phallus, if you will. From working. From being at bagged a job. on by Jay for four years. <laughs> what are you yeah. guys talking about? Nothing. Nothing. Don't worry about Shut it. Up, Bible verses. Slam it on. Okay. That's the wrong way. Put on the right way, Jay. <sighs> Boy, I tell you what. <sighs> what? Mm hmm. <laughs> you can't wait till your garage is built so you can lock me out. <laughs> <laughs> See, that can be taken up with RTV. Right. This side's good. good. Watch this. 
Okay, so we're still. Hey, hold on a second. Where's uh? Hey, Mag lights right there. It's still up on this end Take too, this. really though. I think it's hitting. Uh... We're not gonna be able to see unless I put it in your way. Push down again. Okay. Yeah, you need the camera a little bit more on this side. <clears throat> All right, so sit wrap. We put some, okay. we put some grease on there to transfer. And first, we found out that it was the stud tips, so we drilled some holes, and then we found out it was a baffle that I meticulously installed. seems to work. Right, Jay? Alright. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it's the next morning down here in BTP World Headquarters. Wearing the 225 Slant 6 Bad Tree Production shirt. You can get yours too on our Etsy site. You can get this one at Iron Horse Garage's site. That's what you were wearing last night. Well, I just wear the same thing, so it looks like we're not the next day. Oh, that's a good yeah, move. Right. So, things that we have been doing off camera that is kind of just, we don't want to kill a bunch of SD card, right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to do some of it and then show you. So here's what Jay's working on right now. So anyway, um, what, this is a Melling's oil pump, and I watched a video on a guy that took, he said he claimed he took his apart and it was full of, like, shavings and stuff. I thought, wow, what the hell? That seems odd. I took this one apart. There were no, there were no metal shavings in it, or whatever. It's pretty clean. But at the um, suggestion of uh, Ed's machine, he uh, he mentioned um, he's got a couple. He's got about four videos on an oil pump, and it's a Chevy oil pump. And uh, he actually, uh, uh, well, he covers it with uh, like blue sharpie or whatever, represent like uh, say like uh, blueprinting or outlining. Uh, what am I trying to say? Blue printer's ink or whatever, mm -hmm. blue printing. <clears throat> and then he didn't actually show it, but you, I'm, I'm just working it on a flat surface. There's a piece of granite here. It's perfectly smooth. There's a piece of thousand grit. And so I'm just kind of working like the, the outer, uh, um, what do you call it? The lid, the, what am I trying to say, Blake? That's a lid, yeah. The, the lid to the oil pump. I'm just working it like in a crazy eight. Well, just a regular heat pad. It's not crazy. Well, it's kind of crazy when I do it, but so you know, just kind of working it. And anyway, I'm I'm kind of noticing that that on the outer parameter of the the pump uh, case housing lid cover, that I'm actually breaking this this uh, surface right here around the edge. So anyway, it'll it'll just uh, it's supposed to make this uh, seal better. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do the same with uh, this. So you can actually see if we can hold it still here. I don't know if you can see. You can see kind of some of the machining chatter there, but you can kind of see areas where it's starting to smooth out and become smooth. Mm -hmm. So it's it should go a long way into just sealing it better. Right. You can actually you can actually seal this too, uh, where it actually attaches to the engine. You can you can seal this part here. And I've seen I've seen. Um, I even at the factory, they don't even put a gasket here. But when you order a pump, they the give you a gasket. I just wonder if it's because maybe the tolerances from the factory are probably finer and they made it smoother so it didn't require a gasket. I don't know. But you can actually you can actually use the same use the same um, uh, method on this part here too if you if you feel you need to. Right. But 
So anyway, we'll clean it all up and so that's what Jay's working on. Get her slammed together. Earlier, um, I took rod number four and put bearings in it and put some of that lube that Ed sent us right here. It's not pronounced clevite, it's clevite, apparently. You say tomato, whatever. Whatever. You nice guys get the idea. Anyway, <clears throat> put some Plastic gauge. Plastic gauge, plastic gauge by Clevite, Clevite. And the tolerance is right where it needs to be. So we yeah. checked them. And that's the point, point what, point zero zero one five. Yep. Yeah. So that's there. And then while we hit, it was storming earlier and we we're sitting in the shop, we got the spiral. Spiral locks? Spiral lock keepers in here on one side only on each of the pistons just to uh, get that stuff done. Then we can lube our pins, assemble our rods, um, put the rings on them. Right now, we notice there's interference with our windage tray to our oil pan baffle. Mm -hmm. And we determined that we we're gonna have to cut the studs from the windage tray bolt kit down. They're interfering. Right, right. Well, that's gonna create a lot of <coughs> metal shavings it's going to contaminate an area sometimes I have a decent idea I'm gonna see if it works I covered it with the trash bag and ran the hardware up through it put a nut here I'm gonna check with the machinist ruler to see if it's flat across of its highest point and I'm gonna buzz them off back the nut off I'm gonna set a magnet here and maybe a vacuum also and get those cut down that's a good idea, ain't it? I mean, I think so, yeah. In theory, I, I got the whole engine Cover. separated. Right, right. You know, so right. it should stay nice like and surgery. clean. Right. Right. Yeah, surgeons would do that, wouldn't right, they? Right, right. They'd cover the whole area. Yeah. So we're surgeons today. Kind of rocket surgeons. On BTER. BTER. I don't know what that means, but. Bad tree emergency room. Ooh. All right. We need a. What else? What, I'm going to say something else, too. <sighs> what else are we doing? I mean, it's just... I'm going to get this figured out. Get this cut. Make sure it fits good. Then I'm going to take the winter tray back off. Then we're going to slam pistons and rods in. And we should have a rotating we're assembly. We're going to fit the rings first. Well, yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. But we should have a short block. By the end of the day. By the end of the day. Is what we're thinking. Or that's what we're hoping for. Yep. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we showed you the cam last night. So, we slipped it in last night, smooth as butter. So, we're going to continue on and we'll... Oh, the, the, the Milodon uh, stud kit. Yeah, the instructions state that you need a bottoming yeah. tab. That's, it, the, the stud kit, what it, it, it's for what? Big block Chevy or Mopar. Yeah, so... It says. So... They're so thinking big block Chevy must have like a blind hole or something that it goes into. Well, but... and you said Mopar could have too. It depended. Sometimes they were cast and they were tapered in blind. Mm -hmm. And just in case of that, that's why they give you these instructions. So we thought we messed up, sent Jay off to go get a tap. And then me and Jeremy pulled everything apart and we seen there through holes. They weren't tapered. And we just determined that we need to do cut a little off and I called um Mylodon up their representative IT guy and he said yep whack the top top of them off if you have a oil pan baffle you'll have to whack them off so that's what we're gonna do get whacking mm-hmm whackity whack don't go back It is now like 5.30 in the afternoon. Oh my god. Look how far we've gotten. When his tray is off. We're going we, in reverse. <laughs> we're just, it's its a slow struggle, but 
We're getting our ring gap set. We're going to 26 thousandths on that. Jay's on the top the, rings. Top ring, yes. Jay's getting the ring filer unit set up. We're taking a systematic approach. We're working from left to right and top to bottom. I think I've mentioned that before, right? Probably. And we're incorporating um, 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 oh shit, I lost it. So anyway, you shut up. Um, we've been playing around with all this stuff here and it's too fancy for me to explain to you heathens. If you want to learn more about it, you should check out Ed's Machine YouTube channel. He knows how to explain that stuff a lot better, but our block is supposed to be 30 over. We checked it. We set our micrometer to 430. Set our bore gauge and zeroed it out with our micrometer at 430. That's a diamond wheel there, Jay. It could take material fast, so be careful. Be quiet, Blake. Okay, so we set our caliper at 4.030. So that'd be 30 over a four inch standard bore. So when we slide this in and out and we check the bottom and the top, it was reading 4.031. So it's a little loose, then, but it's only a thousandth off. So now we're setting our top ring gap. We also checked with plasti gauge on our crank bearings, and that's within spec. That was 0 0.0015. And then we checked our bearing for our rod, our rod bearings to the journal. And plasti gauge that also, and that was 0 0.0015 within tolerance. So we're calling that all good. Then we took wherever the pistons are, we put our spiral clips all in one side, just for now. That way we can lube up our wrist pin. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, Jay. <laughs> lube up our wrist pins and then, and then place our rods in the pistons, slide the wrist pin in, then put our spiral, spiral spring in and then we'll be ready to jam them on home. So it's just we'll be jamming. We'll be jamming. It's it's a tedious jamming. Like I said, we came here at 9:30 this morning. Oh, it's already 5:30. So Jay's already got the first ring already almost at 26 thousandths. Correct, Jay Bo? Yes. Freaking magnet on a stick. <laughs> Picking everything up. Um, I mean, when you do these, you want to make sure that, uh, you know, before you go ahead and stick them in the, the piston or whatever, but you want to, um, yeah, you just want to make sure that you don't feel that sharp edge here. So we'll hit it with a stone if we got a stone. There's but, a there's that big stone, but yeah. But you don't want to actually really chamfer it, but you just want to you just want to break the deburr it. You just want to well deburr it. I guess you can call it desharpen it because you don't want that. You don't want this going up and down. Scoring your cylinder wall. Right. Exactly. Potentially. Mm hmm. And I've been just grabbing this and sticking my fingers in this uh, lower oil land or whatever, and then sticking it in here like this. And as soon as my fingers get to the deck, then I pull it back out. Then I grab my 26 thousandths gauge, uh, feeler gauge, and um, and test it. And I'm not getting in there yet. Just not getting in there. I think I've got, what, probably eight. Jesus, I thought something was falling. I, got, I think I got eight, nine cranks on it, maybe. And if you go a little oversized, then you know what? You just turned your, you know, you can run nitrous if you want. Right. That's the plan anyway, right? No. That's not the plan. 
Peaches on A, baby. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's getting close. Oh, it just, just almost wants to go in. Just another tickle. The slow and steady pace wins the race against the Texas Bearded Hippie. Again, twist it around. That's mm. done. Mm. And again, big shout out to Ed's Machine yeah. YouTube channel, uh, known as E and D Machine, Northwest Arkansas or Arkansas, Arkansas. Arkansas. There we go. Good people. All right, we're checking back in. It's been a lot of uh, checking and numbering and checking and numbering and double checking and crunching more numbers. And now we have gotten everything how we want it. So now we're ready to assemble. That's what j is doing right now. Mm -hmm. We got our rods and pistons all assembled. <coughs> Matching caps, ARP assembly loop, or we got to put our ARP goop on our studs when we go to throw them in. <laughs> um, J Bo, yeah, is doing a really good job. I'm trying. It's been a long one. Yeah, We've been, been at it for time. about eleven hours. Then we. <laughs> Still haven't really got much done. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, should I use the? Yeah, I got that expander. What are them little uh, rubber bobs that Ed sells? This is all garbage now. So the top ring, uh, it does not have a mark in it. The second ring does have a mark. The mark goes up. It's just a single little dot. Uh, the top ring has no dot. I believe it's like symmetrical, I guess you could call it. Uh, the second ring does have a kind of a chamfer toward the inside of it on the bottom. Here they are. So anyway, we're stabbing them. I don't know if you want to orient these way. You were instructed. Mm -hmm. That's it for me. I'm going home. I'm tired. Yeah, what? Gee. Damn it. Slave driving. Like that. All right. We gapped all our rings. In our case, uh, what the top gap was, what, 26 <coughs> thousandths? 26 thousandths. Yeah. And uh, the second gap was supposed to be 16 thousandths. Where's the uh, dealy bob? What's that, bud? So the oil ring, uh, if you look at the very... Uh, so that works. Part of it. These two parts have to point upward, I guess, from what I gather. There. I'm put a top of them right on top. Yeah. You want to try to scratch your skirt. Okay. 
Did you get it? Yeah. Boy, it took you long enough. Oh, yeah, man. Why? I have no clue. No idea. So I take a little magnet tray and put some dinosaur blood, none of that uh, synthetic. Just dab my fingers. Dinosaur blood? Yeah. I know, it's fake news. And just wipe her down. Give her a good wipe down. And grab a rag. Uh -huh. And then set you up right here. Exhaust port, intake port. You want your ports towards the inside of the block. You don't want your ports the other way, otherwise your valves are going to hit in the piston. So I don't think I need to say it, but that. you just never know. <laughs> Okay, so kind of going to hold my other hand down here to guide it. And she should. Okay. Okay, what? You're there. Pull my. Come on. <laughs> what are the trusses for? Oh, for a That's shop. His oh, roof for, for his. Hey, he didn't do it the whole time I was there. How you doing, Tommy? Good. Oh, gee. All right, Jabo. It's officially been 12 hours of working on this. This is crap. <laughs> I'm tired and hungry. Getting close. We'll call it quits once we get all the slugs in their home. Mm-hmm. Okay? All right. Then you can go eat. Slug fast. All we've had was breakfast, and that was, what, eight something? A while ago. Been eating Dr. Pepper and Jay just started eating Coors Lights, so. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Say a prayer for Jeremy in the comments section. Oh, poor guy. He's not feeling well right now. He's mm. wanting to throw off. Man, you're getting that ARP stuff everywhere, man. I know. It's all over. <laughs> I need a rag. I get off right here. It was nice and clean, then we switched jobs. Mm -hmm. Alright, it's the next morning here at BTP World Headquarters. And we got the short block all assembled. I'm putting the oil pump on right now. 35 foot pounds, right, Jay? Yeah. Okay, let's torque it down. I think we're done down here. There's 20. 20. Thirty. Thirty-five. Yeah. How's that feel? Feels good. Thirty. Thirty-five. Alright. So what's up? Um, okay. So here we go. I don't know. What, cost breakdown or no? Well, yeah. All right, so far what we got and everything. All right, so 360 engine number one, and that included a set of Edelbrock heads, Edelbrock intake, Edelbrock camshaft. Uh, it was 30 over already, and it probably needed to be machined again. Right. So we didn't really care for that short block, but we were able to actually salvage the heads. Okay, so for two grand, we got a set of heads on intake and a camshaft, I guess, for the most part. And then a short, a short block or whatever that's maybe got a value of $200, I'm guessing. So, I don't know. Maybe we did kind of good. I don't know. 
360 number two was $300. I'd already had the machine work done to it. It was punched 30 over. <coughs> I think it's a 1985 casting. Yes. Okay. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, the machine work looks really nice. Uh, so I think we did pretty good for 300 bucks there. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, set of Keith Black uh, Hyper Protective Pistons. Were they 107s? I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, yes, they were 107s. Okay, so uh, those typically run you about 400 bucks. They come with the piston rings. They should, I think. Uh, the other ones. What were those ones there that we had in the other? What what brand? Are those, those are Speed Pro. Yeah, are they? Or... or I can't remember what the name is. But those don't come with the rings, and they're about the same money. So. Right. Um, we've used Keith Black pistons before in a pass build. Uh, nice looking pistons. They got the yeah, whatever. They're nice. Uh, ARP rod bolts. Uh, they run you about ninety bucks. Okay. Uh, Fell Pro gaskets. Okay, so so these heads require the Fell Pro um, ten oh eights. Yeah, ten oh eights. Okay, so you got to buy two of them. They're about forty bucks a pop. Uh, yeah, the the set of them was eighty four dollars. Okay. So with that in mind, and I needed other gaskets, I pieced out the gaskets that I needed, and it ended up being like seventy-eight dollars, like for the timing cover, the blah blah blah, the oil pan bolt, you know, oil pan gaskets and everything. You know what? I just said the hell with it, and I bought a, a whole complete uh, Fell Pro gasket set for seventy-three dollars, and that was money ahead. Um, anyway, that gives us an extra set of head gaskets and also uh, plus we. Cover Bio cover gaskets. Plus, we have a set of Kometic head gaskets too that came with that first. Came engine. with a came with three sixty number one. Yeah. yeah. So and those are those are about eighty bucks probably or mm -hmm. whatever. I'm not sure. Um, we got spare stuff. Yeah. So we got extra stuff. Um, we uh, picked up a set of the rim. Okay. So yeah, this um, the nachos always had exhaust leaks that are very irritating, and it doesn't seem to matter what you do. Uh, so we ended up picking up a set of uh, Remflex, Remflex uh, exhaust manifold gaskets. And as you recall, in a, a past build, uh, uh, Uncle Tyler actually used those on a Slant 6. And they're a pretty thick gasket. I mean, they just, they seal up good. Mm -hmm. So anyway, we picked those up. They were uh, they were 40 bucks for the exhaust manifold gaskets. Uh, we picked up the same brand uh, Remflex 3-inch um, uh, collector gaskets. Those weren't very much. They were, what were they, 16 bucks? Okay. Uh, we reused the old crank that was cut 10 under, um, and it checked out good. Uh, we did the little ball peen hammer ring test on it, and and each weight rang mm -hmm. true, beautiful, sounded great. So we're going with it. All right, it's best. <laughs> right. Uh, we got a, we're use, reusing the old timing set off of the the previous nacho motor. Is that that right there? Yeah. Yeah, it's only got a thousand miles on it, so it's a true roller. Um, so we saved, you know, what do we save there? Forty bucks there, maybe. <clears throat> no, that's like a hundred and thirty. That one was. Yeah. Oh shit! I don't know. Man, crazy. Uh, let's see. Oil pickup. I think we got that from Mancini. I'm not sure. It was thirty thirty four dollars. We picked up a Mellings high volume uh, oil pump. That was seventy eight dollars. That was from Mancini also. Uh, Mancini windage, Mancini windage tray was about 50, 50 clams also. Uh, the Milladon uh, bolt package for the windage tray that's sixty dollars. So that's then you got to cut them. Yeah, then you got to modify them because it's a universal kit for big block, small block, big block Chevy, big block Chevy, a small block, whatever, blah blah blah. Uh, anyway, so everything all together, three thousand two hundred seventy three dollars. Okay, if you don't opt for the heads, chop 2,000, say top, chop, just eliminate um, 360 number one out of the whole picture. You're, you're at uh, you're at about 1,000 thousand bucks for the rebuild, I guess, really, when you get right down to it. So. And you couldn't have the machine work done to this block for $300. Yeah, it might be a little bit, it might be a little bit well, better than that. The yeah. nacho, old nacho block, I oh. had $900 and just they, the bare they block. assembled the, the nine hundred dollars in the machine work for yeah. them to assemble the rotating assembly. I ended okay. up it was like thirteen hundred dollars by the time I picked it up. All right, so uh, your your build may vary, but that's kind of a ballpark figure for what we've got in those. That's about so. four hundred dollars for them to assemble it, which right. it took us twelve hours yesterday to assemble. So there is there is a considerable amount of time, you know. But you know, a professional probably just whip right through it pretty. 
pretty quick, pretty easy. He's probably got some more tricks that we don't know. <coughs> Jay, we Jay, are Jay, aware Jay. Of. What, what? You're a professional, damn it. No, no, no. No, no. no. By no means are we professional. He's, he's the star of the yeah, show. Yeah. Jay, no, no. Just don't. Divide it by pi. Right. 3.14016. Five. Six, 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 six. <laughs> All right, so that's uh, that's kind of the cost breakdown, all right? Mm -hmm. uh, intake manifold, uh, I don't know if you want to include that, but what would you pay for the intake? 100 and bucks. Mopar M1, and we got a hell of a deal on it, 100 bucks. Jeremy bought it years ago for 75. Right. It used to hang up there, and then I ended up buying it from him for 100. Uh, oil pan, what's an oil pan run a guy? I mean, if you got a good <sighs> one. Uh, I can't remember, that was 40 bucks. No, it was... It came with other parts too, I think. Yeah. But whatever. So that might have been more. It might have came with an oil pump and all that other stuff. So. That was a J-Bo to Blake Christmas present two something, years ago. Well, well, whatever. <laughs> so anyway, that's yeah, that's kind of a somewhat of a cost breakdown. But anyway, all we got left on this now to to finish up the short block will be uh, stab the cam in it, get the timing set on it. All right. And I then, think we're uh, gonna degree the cam. Yeah. Try that out for a yeah. Yeah. This motor's been a bunch of first times, kind of for us. Sure, not sure. not crazy first time changes, but right. you know, drilling the extra holes in the plate. Sure. You sure. know, we're sitting around waiting for parts. You know, there's 50 people say it's a good thing. 50 people, 50 percent of people say do it. 50 percent of people yeah. say it's not worth it. Yeah. I you know, know, we're not afraid to try different things. Mm -hmm. You know. All right. Right. So maybe it helps so. flow or whatever, but. Um, yeah, our ring, uh, our ring filer kit came from Jags, and that's what we used to file the rings. Uh, we, uh, used, uh, this piston ring compressor, uh, it's from, what does that say? Checkered Flag Checkered Flag Performance. Uh, this was pretty damn slick, so we just slammed it right in. This is pretty cool. This was an eBay purchase, uh, it's made in the U.S., all right, so our first one... And I, I don't know who the eBay seller was, but they sent us this one here. Standard bore. And it was, uh, it's actually marked um, 30 over, but it was actually a standard bore. They just shipped me another one right away. So we got two of them. So I don't know. Those guys are super good dudes. But. That's pretty cool that we got a 30 over and a standard now. So right, we can, exactly. We can do whatever, you know. Most commonly, you either have standard bore or your 30 over. I don't really see or hear much 20 over. There are people out there that do 20 over, mm -hmm. but probably more common to see standard or 30. Uh, I did pick up a, <coughs> what a new uh, intermediate shaft. This is not it. No. But, um, and the bushing. That was. We filmed putting that in earlier. Yeah, that was like another $70, I think. For the bushing? For the bushing with the shaft. Right. All, all together, so. The shaft. Uh, that was from Mancini. The shaft also. out of the nacho is a newer one. Is that this one here? Yep. Okay, yeah. Well, it's a good part, so we'll keep it. Right, right. So, actually, this is... Yeah, this is that one. Yeah, it's Melling's. Melling's brand. I believe the old one's probably a Melling's also. Right. And that blade that looks like it. So, anyway. Anyway, there you have it. So... Ta-da! <laughs> you want to roll this thing over, Jay? Yeah, sure, sure. Let's see how pretty it looks. Mm. Oh no. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, ooh. So there we have it. Yep. Beautiful. And there's our new bushing down in there. Well, everything's lubed and ready to go. We've been bagging it at night. Um, yeah, I think I think that's gonna do it for this video. We'll we'll do the rest of bolt and everything else on for another video. Because mm -hmm. I imagine we're probably like forty minutes into this right now, right, guys? You right. falling asleep? You ran out of popcorn? Yeah. Probably need to change your adult diaper. Probably need to I'd... change your iron horse shirt. That's like third day, man. Whatever. I, like I said, this is one day. Stop it. I plan on just editing today because I accidentally put this on and I don't want to touch this while I'm wearing duddy shirt. Oh my god, for crying out loud. We'll end up taking stuff apart. Probably. Oh. And not putting it together. Right. Sorry, Dudman. So anyway, alright. Um, so 
So anyway, good, bad, ugly, leave us a comment. We always love to see comments. Um, <laughs> we'll do our best to uh, respond to them and so on and so forth. All right? Yep. We, so anyway. We, we love the comments. You betcha. So that's going to do it for us, all right? Adios. Adios. Jamie, you got to stop touching everything. Oh. She just wants to build motors, Jay. I guess she does. I reckon. Or uncalibrate your beam style Chrysler oh, no. design torque wrench. Which would be easy enough to recalibrate. That sure would be easy. Come on. <sighs> All right, gang. See you later. Can you say see you later? Mm. She's just going to take it. Say bye bye. Jay, you know what's really odd? What's that, bud? I'm wearing this Duddy's Adventure shirt. Yeah. And I put Loctite on that windage tray plate. Yeah. bolts and yeah. I assembled that. Oh right, right. I just put odd. the fuel pump blocker plate on the timing <laughs> chain cover. Sure, sure. I'm putting stuff together. That's really, really strange. I don't know if the shirt has the power that we thought it did. It doesn't feel right, does it? No. Good night. Good night, Nacho Heart. Yep. See you in the morning. We're calling it. Yeah. Gotta go edit this video. Yeah. Good night, Nacho Heart. Good night, Nacho Heart. Kick it! <laughs> J Bo caught you smoking and he said, no way. Jabo doesn't quit, smokes two packs a day. <laughs>